What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang and today I'm bringing you another episode of This Tool is Cool and today what I got for you is an all-around compression tester. So stay tuned. All right, let's get this started. Now what I got for you today is a compression tester. This is good if you want to, if your engine's running rough or anything's happening in your motor, it's just low on power, misfiring, anything. A good place to start is with the compression tester. Right here we have this, like I said, it goes from zero to 300. If you've ever worked with air tools, it's just the same. You take this piece right here, it comes with a hose and a fitting. You take this, slide this back right here, pop that in and that attaches like that. Then you have this in, now it does come with these right here. You kind of shove them down in the cylinder. It's more like a two person job at that point, unless you have the little thumb thing to turn it over, depending on your tools. I'm not going to be using this part of it, but like I said, uh, Ford is like 12 to 14 millimeters, 18, 14 and 12 millimeters is what this one has. Now, if you have an overhead cam motor, you got to get down in that head a little bit farther. So you take this into the hose and you screw it onto here and then you got this little piece. So what I would do is I would screw this down in the motor and then I would screw on the hose, go ahead and screw that on there like that. And then depending on the size of your spark plug thread, we have these copper or brass inserts. As you can see here, there is a few of them and we'll take that and screw that down on it. And then we're gonna put this down in the cylinder, thread it in just like you would a Spark plug, we're gonna turn the motor over. I like to go about five times, so wah wah, wah wah, wah wah, wah wah, wah wah. Five times, the motor turns over five times. I go ahead and I see what the pressure is on this. I write it down, I start with cylinder number one. Cylinder number one is like 126. Then I go ahead and I press this button right here. I release the pressure. I unscrew this, put it in the next cylinder, turn it over five times, motor turns over five times, check the pressure, so on and so forth. Then after that, what I'm gonna go back and do, now that would be dry, I'm gonna go back and put a little oil in the cylinder and then I'm gonna crank it over again. That oil will seal up those rings and seal around the cylinder. And then you find the percentage of how much the difference is between cylinder to cylinder, wet and dry and then you can figure out what's wrong with your motor or if that is the problem at all, if the motor needs rebuilding or if the motor is good to go any farther. And if it's you got all good compression but you're low on power, the next step is a leak down test. That's when you test the valve train. I'll leave a link in the description when I talk about a leak down tester. And pretty soon I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use these tools instead of just telling you. But I thought this was another cool tool that you can pick on, on Amazon for about $20 and you can do this at home. Now a shop will charge you anywhere from 75 to $120, sometimes even more just to see if they need to put a new motor in or if that's the cause. And then the leak down test, like I said, if this goes good, go ahead and do that leak down test. And you can kind of narrow down from the block to the heads on where you're losing power at. This has been Life in a Mustang. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been an episode of This Tool is Cool and I'll catch you all later. Peace.